Okay, let's get going with this. This is our Christmas giveaway stream. I'm currently not in Stockholm, certainly not. I'm back home in the ancestral homes in the Scottish Highlands. Which means maybe the quality isn't so great, but that's okay. We're not playing any games tonight. Well, I'm not playing any games tonight. Give it a minute, you soon will be. So, tonight we're going to have a big old giveaway. I've set up a bunch of puzzles for you guys to solve. And if you're the first one to solve any of them, you're going to get a key that you can punch into Steam and get yourself a nice game or maybe a Steam gift card. It's kind of up to you. You can choose which puzzle to take on. After we've done those little puzzles, we're going to spin for the next EU4 campaign. We have a bunch of possibilities here. I put on a vote on the old Patreon, and it was between... Let's see if through the magic of streaming we can get this up. Hey, look at that. We'll be deciding between playing as Saruhan, Pirate Naxus, or as Granada. All of them fairly challenging starts, but should be fun however we cut it. Uh, Voting-wise, Pirate Naxus got the bulk of the votes, Sarahan barely got any, but all you need is one to be in with a chance to win. So we're going to spin the good old Wheel of Misfortune, and that will cast the final decision on which one we do. Like I said, it's leaning towards Pirate Naxus, but we won't know until we spin to win. Okay, so let's get on with the giveaway, why don't we? So what I am about to do, about to, not just yet, is put up uh, all of the puzzles I have. They're all going to be on screen at once. You're going to pick one, try to solve it. There's going to be uh, words for you to fill in. Shouldn't be too hard to guess what the words are. And if you line up the uh, colored letters and numbers from them, you will spell out a Steam code, punch it in. And if you're the first one to it, you are going to win now. That kind of relies on me actually having it on the screen. Maybe, just maybe, I can manage to do that. Hey, there we go. I think it's up. I think it might even be working there. Wow, they're actually uh, actually the correct images. I didn't think I'd make it. So, up in the top left, we have a Patrician 4 puzzle. Probably the easiest one there. Just fill in these various Christmassy related words, or loosely Christmas related words. And, uh, Jings, even most of them are already filled out for you. How easy could it be? Any of the other three will be for an unknown quantity of dollars in Steam gift cards. Top right one is, if you know the nations of the world, current ones in 2018. Uh, some of them super easy, all of them super easy, frankly. You, If you're on this channel, especially at this time of night on Christmas, you probably hang around for the EU4 streams quite a bit, so you should know all the current nations, and also the EU4 nations, which you see in the bottom left. Again, question dollar Steam gift card if you suss that one out. And the bottom right one, this is my own mum's idea, so there we go. Uh, another questionable Steam gift card thing, and the theme is video games. Fill in the dots, and you will spell out the key. If you do, you should uh, ping me in chat so that I know that it has been claimed. Not that I'm ready to slap up anything and say that it is, but uh, I guess if you get stuck in from the start, you'll have the advantage of time on your side. You seem to have one of the best mums, says Worm. It's quite possible. So why don't we help you get started on this one. Uh, we'll go with the EU4 nations. That one should be nice and easy for a question, question, dollar, steam, gift card. So the first word from top to bottom over the far left is blank, blank, nice. Now what could it be? It's probably not Vanus. And it's probably not Venus, but it might be Venice. So V would be the first letter there. I like to think these are pretty self-explanatory puzzles, but maybe some people go, Oh no, how does it work? I don't understand. But that's fine if you don't understand, because 
competence is what it's all about. If you can get these sussed out, then you deserve the prize that you get. I see Tangine saying it's obviously Venice. Well, if it's that obvious to you, you've surely sussed it all out and claimed the question question dollar steam gift card. Densetsu the seventh says, Jake, these are fun. Maybe post them just for laughs after this. I mean, <clears throat> they're posted up here and now, so anybody that wants to see them could just check out the VOD for it. Took a surprising amount of time, but I did have time to kill on Christmas Eve, just whiling the hours away as we got closer and closer to Christmas Day. It was quite a lot of fun. I see a lot of people in the chat giving out their Christmas wishes. How very nice of you. But my Christmas wish is for you to indulge in these puzzles, get them solved, and claim the prize that awaits. Are the results anagrams, says Gnarlwood? No, they are keys. Keys that you can plug straight into Steam. And get yourself, well, something. It's a shill, says, I got the Modern Nations one. Well, well done to you. Just plug it into Steam and you will claim the prize. Executable says, is it fair to share the answers? Well, I mean, if you have the answer, then you certainly can uh, send it out in chat. But who knows, maybe somebody has already beaten you to it. Narwood says, oh crap, I nearly got the Modern Nations one. <laughs> Why is nobody going for the Patrician 4 one? What a shame. Of course, it's perfectly okay if you want to help people out by solving uh, what they are. So if you've got the Nations of the World 2018, you probably know that it is Denmark, Kenya, Ethiopia, Seychelles, Bolivia, Dash, uh, Germany, Brunei, Qatar, Jordan, Montenegro, Dash, Belarus, 3, Equatorial New Guinea, or is it just Equatorial Guinea, uh, Kazakhstan, and Nepal. Either that, or you just told me that you solved it, and you've uh, just made me give the game away for anybody. <laughs> It seems that It's a Shill fell for my cunning trap. See, I wondered if there'd be greedy people who wanted to avoid Patrician 4 and go for the easy Nations of the World 2018. So I may or may not have switched the prizes around, meaning that anybody that solves the Patrician 4 is actually going to get $20 of Steam gift card. Enough to buy multiple copies of Patrician 4. <laughs> Shill is saying, no, 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 this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, it seems that Maximilian Zero managed to get the $20-do gift card for the EU4 nations, so both the 2018 nations and the EU4 nations have been claimed. So congratulations there. But see, if you hadn't played Patrician 4, how would you solve the Patrician 4 crossword? <laughs> I surely put Patrician... Yes! <laughs> uh, so one of the uh, questionable dollar Steam gift card is the video games. And the penultimate one is just something for what game could possibly deserve a place there that ends in 4. It's, of course, Patrician 4. Still, it could be that Max is just goading me out to give out the answers to the bottom left one, but I will. I don't have them written down. I'm going entirely by memory here, which is always a recipe for disaster. But it is, if I recall well, Venice, Paishi, France, 6-7-5, England, Ireland, Ooh, yeah, what was that? Rajputana, of course. Adal dash thirteen colonies. 
Balukistan, a jam, Afghanistan, kill daddy. Whoa. Very good, Jake. Very, very good. Ah, Max decided to post up the answer. Oh, he even has a little link for me to click. Ooh. Oh, he's good. Chris D says, oh, damn, Haishi for EU Four Nations 1. No wonder it was saying it was invalid, since I assumed it was Haiti. Oh, 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 not good enough there. Adraharu was wondering about the 13 colonies one, yep. Not many nations start with a number there. It's kind of interesting which Yakuza it is, it's a sick, tricky question. There's only one Yakuza you need to know and that's Yakuza 0. Paradox Wiki failed me on the 13 colonies, well Adraharu, that's what you get by going by the wiki instead of your own knowledge. So, unless somebody speaks up otherwise, the Patrician 4 Christmas one and the video games one is still open, unless anybody is claiming to have gotten those. It's nothing more outside of the Christmas spirit than grabbing and running without saying that you got these. Of course, this is a nice way to deal with uh, any bots or panhandlers that come in just to harvest the uh, the Steam codes, which I'm certain there are thing, uh, ones that do. We used to do these giveaways by just me throwing the codes into the chat, and a lot of people would go, oh, that's, it's already taken, so I'm convinced there are bots out there. They probably search for the word giveaway in stream titles and gobble them all up, but I'm certain bots won't be able to solve these puzzles, and if they do, they're the kind of bots that I want around here. So I'm assuming that somebody must have solved the Patrician 4 one by now at the top left, which may or may not be for Patrician 4. Christmassy terms, so we've got the Igloo, 3, Zulu, 7, Happy, Dash, Holly, or was it Lolly? No, it was probably Holly. Cracker, 6, Season's Greetings, Zulu, Dash, Rudolph, Bobbles, Six, Requiem, and Carol. I'm certain people have already gotten that, they just need to speak up and say that they have. Jake, you are just going to train some Skynet by upping the key challenge this much. Come now, surely there's no challenge here. Sir Jesus0124 says, how do we play? You're already neck deep in the game here. Free one and C3R says, just got it right before you read it off. Did you manage to secure the prize? Because I'm curious who managed to win the Patrician 4 one. I'm also wondering if anybody has done the video games one yet. I will, uh, I will grab a quick drink and move on over to it. Somebody just says Montenegro in the chat. I assume it's to uh, I assume it's to somebody I'm wondering what it is. I'm too dumb to come up with two of the games, says Integral Hamster. Ass and IGH ones. Well let's have a look. <laughs> Ass. Oh man. If only I had played a game that had ass in it lately. Maybe some kind of masquerading game involving glass. What could it possibly have been? What was the other one that he couldn't suss out? Hamster couldn't get the IGH one. What was IGH? 
I G H. Oh right, as as ah. Uh. Hmm. Might be a game that I want to do a season two of. Some point. Maybe that's a good enough hint there. Where do we post our answers, says Sir Jesus? Right into Steam. But unless you've managed to get the video games one, which might be the only one no one's got yet. Uh, surely somebody's got it. It's not that hard. They're all easy to get video games. Why don't we just run through them? I'm that convinced that somebody already has them. So, the first hint is to die. It is obviously seven days to die. The second one is Uza Zero. Obviously, Yakuza Zero. Bio Z something. Well, that's obviously Biohazard 2, the remake, now out on Steam. Shoutouts to Tandy Man, who decided to uh, gift me that for Christmas. Awesome. I can't wait to play it when it comes out. And the Ass Ass D. Well, that is the Glass Masquerade, of course. We've got the dash, and then we have Karu. Well, I mean, I think everyone knows that that is Ikaruga. But what about Ioware? Well, I mean, what else would it be than Warioware? I'm gonna win. We have the call of something Z. Well, that's obviously the call of Juarez. And then we have a tricky one. It's just TL. Obviously, faster than light, FTL. Funnily enough, the next one, Ass Ha, is faster than light, too. I got a question saying, I'm guessing some of these have already been answered. I would hope so. I mean, surely everybody has solved these, but we're just going through them anyway. Uh, so after Faster Than Light, we have a dash, and then we have Ban-O-E. Well, that is Banjo-Kazooie, clearly. Nine Spirits. What would that be? Well, it's 99 Spirits. And then we have War-0000. Zero, 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 zero. No, that is Warhammer-40,000. Then we have a lot of spaces and a four. How many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, many... Anyone to okay, lots of lots of letters. Obviously it is Patrician 4. The clue is already on the sheet at top left where it says Patrician 4. And finally just Yak. Well, we already have Uza 0, so it is Yak Uza 0. The question is who managed to get that one? Nobody is shouting out to say uh, say that they managed to get it. Or they did and I missed the shout out. Well, It's a Shill managed to win uh, the supposedly question question dollar Steam gift card for Nations of the World 2018. Max managed to get the EU4 Nations, which was another uh, $20 Steam gift card, I think. Who got the Patrician 4 Christmas ones? And who got the video games ones? Or who's even going to say? Maybe they just grabbed and dashed. I guess that's okay, because, you know, it's Christmas. It's all about giving rather than receiving. So as long as they got it and are happy, then I'm somewhat satisfied. Great fun anyway, says Densetsu. Much preferred it to the old rush for it method. Oh, Zamodrian just got it. I got it now by listening to you and guessing Yakuza. Seriously, nobody got it until I went through it? I should have... I should have just stuck around a bit more. Okay. Well, uh, I only made four of these because it's it takes a surprising amount of time to uh, to do these. But that's okay because what we have now is bonus round. These are just out there. Grab them and grab them fast. This is going to benefit the people on good connections, but good connection means good people. Uh, these are just a whole load of Steam gift cards and games. Uh, they're either brought in by me, off the sweat of my own brow, and some were actually donated by uh, QCar12, who said, Oh, I've got a bunch of games, use these for the next giveaway you do. Well, here we go. If you, uh, if you see it, punch it in, and it will be yours. 
Chris D is saying they just got five dollar dues for key four, and Black Winds goes, I'm a slow typer with a slow connection, not even gonna try. I mean, uh, you're obviously lying there, Black Winds, you are trying them all. I'm sure you try ten-year-old keys that you just find in the off chance. Green Vovazela says nabbed roller coaster tycoon two. Thank you, all that thanks actually goes to Q Car for them. Steam doesn't allow me to insert more keys. It says I'm a scammer, says Hamster. Obviously. <laughs> Alpha Gamo just grabbed Devil Daggers. I Heart Cliff Racer says they had a nice try, but didn't. Now to buy hundreds of sale cards for meaningless Steam profile levels, says the Chris D. <laughs> Jeng's Malings. Edgeda the third managed to get crawl, and now people are going, oh, I'm too slow. Well, being fast is being best. Just ask Lucky. He knows I'm the best because I was so fast in the Mario race. Adraharu says I'm waiting for bonus round two. No, there is no round two bonus uh, here. This is the last of it. I can't imagine these uh, these bear all codes will survive much time. Uh, Frozen Kaiser saying thank you, Jake. Five dollars. Wow, some of these uh, gift cards. Are still uh, still valid. Well, I'm sure there are the Brazilians out there hammering them all into Steam and uh, hopefully getting banned for being detected scammers. It's all part of playing the long game here and making Steam just uh, a happier place for everyone over this festive period and beyond. Kited got five dollars and Runestone Keeper. They're saying thanks while wow, taking. Two. I mean, when you when you see like free uh, free mince pies at the shop, you just fill your pockets entirely. That's okay. As I said, it's all about the giving today. Just be sure to give it forward yourself. There, kited underscore. Voss nineteen ninety says, "I got ten dollars on the first code. Thanks. Best Christmas present this year. Good God." Uh, Feel, feel bad for you, but I'm glad I could be the best there. Oh. Mechti me. You're mixing your BRs, Jake. Orlov is the one who needs financial aid. He's currently without a PC again. <laughs> mm, Jake, I'll take being called a scam to paying your European prices for games, you know. It's okay, I'll take the Euro wage. Chat, help me decide whether to listen to the rest of the stream or play Patrician 4. I need help. If you have uh, Patrician 4, then yeah, you probably do need help. Okay, I think we're going to take this away now since I can only assume that they have all been chewed up. Hope you very much enjoyed them. Let's get back to something else here. Something else indeed. That's the one. This is the wheel. It shows the campaign that we're about to do. We just don't know it yet. The campaigns that are up for grabs here. I already did the vote on my Patreon page. Is to do Sarohan, Pirate Naxus, or Granada in EU4. I will start this campaign once I'm back in Sweden. Because things don't sound right here on Highland Internet, do they? I also had to... I had to take the chopper to the settings for the stream, but that's okay. I'll, I'll get it done when I'm back in Sweden. But which one will we do? People voted, which gave the gave strength behind their choices, but in the end, it's up to the wheel which one actually gets done. So why don't we just go and spin the thing? Round and round it goes. Where it lands is entirely up to this wheel. Same wheel we used for the Wheel of Misfortune, the same wheel that we will be using a bit more just in the future. Now what's it going to land on? Pirate Naxus has the majority of them, but oh, is it going to be on? Oh, it is, it is solidly on Granada. Against all, well, Granada did not get uh, a whole heap of those votes, it was a majority for Pirate Naxus, and that's uh, 
bit of a sweat drop for me because Granada is not an easy win there. It is far from an easy win. Castile breathing down your throat, Portugal probably not going to be so lucky for them to guarantee me, but that would be pretty awesome. Okay, so Granada is going to be the nation we run with when I get back to Stockholm. Uh, which pretty much rounds off all I had to do with this stream. There wasn't going to be any games being played by me. It was you guys playing my game. I hope you did enjoy it. I guess one last thing I'll use this bit of stream time for. Probably the only stream I'll do from up here in the Highlands. Uh, I will start FTL Into the Airlock Season 2 when I get back to Stockholm as well. The penciled in date for that starting will be December the 31st, so at some unknown point during that day. We'll be dusting off one of the FTL spacecrafts that failed in the previous runs. It means we'll have to find ourselves a captain and some crew. I don't know who they're going to be, I'll probably just pick them there and then, so if you want to be on the crew you should stick around that day instead of doing any nerdy New Year celebrations. I mean, who's got time for that? So yes, that is my that is my pledge. Okay, that's all you're getting out of me. Other than, I suppose, a very merry Christmas from me. Uh, I'll see you before, well, I'll speak to you before New Year, so I, I don't have to miss you wish you one of those but yes merry christmas to all and to all a good night